Now it'd be really cool to have some of these um, little bits of grass here, eh? So I'm going to use my, go back to my 2B pencil, which is a good in-between one. And it's just like little blades of grass, so like little up and down, up and down. Try and do lots, but not, yeah, not too many and don't do them too fat as well. You can do like little flicks like that if you want. And then obviously, got to give it a good smudgy smudgy. Try and do some grass like right up around the side as well. If you want to get creative, you could even add like, I don't know, could you guys add like a flower or something in there? What would be a good flower for there? Like a dandelion or something? Oh, look at that, guys. Get a bonus dandelion as well. <laughs> cool. Um, add some of your favorite flowers in there. And some more grasses. Just make it a little bit darker. See, I'm going to go back to my 6B. And there'll be a little shadow kind of underneath where the cat is sitting. Just like that. But we'll keep it pretty, pretty fuzzy. Um, now, if you want to get fancy, if you're feeling like you're really totally on top of this and you, you want to get a little bit fancier, then you can use your rubber to actually draw some bits of grass. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, use the sharp corner. If you've got a sharp corner on your rubber, just go like this. See that? And you like flick some bits of grass going up like that. And that's quite cool because it makes it look like the grasses are sort of in front of the um, in front of the cat. And then add a bit more detail like this. There we go. Awesome. But really the main part of this drawing is, is the cat's face. Um, so that's why we spent a good amount of time working on that. Trying to get that all looking really good. I'm just going to go in and just add a little bit more detail to the eye. Maybe a bit darker around the eye as well. Cool. Alrighty guys, so just a recap of some of those things that we did, we learnt about. Um, so we've got, remember we start off with the basic shapes to draw the cat. Then we sketched it in, so we used that line and we sketched in the position of the different features. And then we did some shading with our 6B pencil to get some of the darkest, the dark tones and the light tones. Alright which I think really made it look cool. And then the last, well not the last thing, but we added with our sharp HB pencil, we added some little um, little fur texture. <laughs> cool. And um, once we did that, we just did the little details in the eye, and then pretty much that's us. Oh yeah, we did the grass and the body and stuff like that as well, but those things are less important than the actual... Um, the actual um, cat. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's the end of the class. Um, now, your homework, and yes, you do get homework with this class, your homework is to draw your own pet. Okay, so if you've got a cat, awesome. It might be better to take a photo of it rather than trying to get it to sit still. Because if your cat's anything like my cat, it's definitely not sitting still. Um, if you've got a dog, that'd be really cool to draw, or I don't know a budgie or a fish, whatever your pet is. And if you haven't got a pet, then I want you to jump on Google and find your favorite animal. Print out a picture of your favorite animal and you have to draw that using the skills that you learned in today's class. Awesome. Cool guys, have fun drawing and yeah, have a lovely day.